Hi guys, welcome to the next video of the Stustu tutorial series. In the last video, we started creating our demo web application Book Auto. We were able to log in to the Book Auto and we came till the home page where we are presented with a link to Book and Auto. Let's check that. Now let's continue from here. Now when the user clicks on the link on the home page, then we will present a form to the user to fill up some right details. Now let's create a new action for this in the booking package. So that when the user clicks on that link, this action will be invoked. Auto action is the action class book is the action method. Now let's change the URL in the home page in the home.jsp to use these plus two URL tag. Let's create a URL element hold the action So here we are storing the book auto action in the book auto URL using the URL tag of the stus2. Now after that we can use this book auto URL in our anchor tag. So let's use the stus2 anchor tag. And here in the href we will use or refer to the ID of the URL element and we need to do it inside the percentage brace because this is kind of some expression which needs to be executed this is not a hard coded text or string so we need to put it in the percentage brace okay so now what will happen when we'll click on the link on the home page book auto action will be executed we have already created, created that action here and in this action we are presenting the user with a form, form page where user can provide the right details when the book auto action class executes successfully the book auto.jsp should be called so let's create one result element for success here Gsp. Now the purpose of this action element is to fetch a JSP with a form. We actually don't need an action class for that. Then why we have put this in the action element? Now what is its use or purpose? The only purpose of this action class is to pre-populate some data for some input fields which require some default values. Like if we are using any select element in our JSP then the options and the values of the select element will be added in this action class similarly if some text field requires some default value to be populated in the form then that is added in the action class so this action class puts the values of those fields and later when the JSP executes it fetches those values from the value stack since the action object is at the top of the stack so first create the book auto.jsp we will come to know what are the fields in the form page 
and for those fields we will populate the data in the action class. Okay, so here in this form, I have created a select element for the packages like 4 hour, 40, 40 kilometers package or 8 hours, 80 kilometers package. Then I have a pickup area here which is a text field. Then I have a pickup date here which is a text field and pickup time which is a select element. And I submit. Now the key attribute here in the text field is mainly used to handle the internationalization and it uses the key to look up the message resource bundle or properties file to get the label and the name uh, values. Uh, we will see its significance when we will talk about the inter internationalization in subsequent video. But for time being we can think that it generates the label and the name with the same value as the key attribute. Now the label can be overridden if we specifically provide it using the label attribute. Now if you notice we have two select elements here and two text fields. The select elements need to be populated with its options and values. Now we are planning uh, for some default values for these text fields also. So they also need to be populated with the form. Now these stus2 tags help us in achieving this. They pick up the default values of these elements in the JSP from the action class property values. The action class which was executed before this JSP executed as a result. So the flow is like this. First our action class will be executed. Inside the action class we will have some properties or member variables corresponding to the JSP fields for which we want some default values. For text fields, the field name attribute should match the name of the member variables while for select elements, it is the list attribute which should match the member variable of the action class. So the list attribute of the select element tells the controller to populate the elements from the action class member variable having the same name as the list attribute. Now this member variable could be a list or map or collection. Okay, now let's create a book auto action class. Uh, let's extend it from action support. Okay, now let's create its member variables. For this package field, we should name the member variable as packages. Since this is a select tag, so we should create a map to store its options and values. So let's have a map. with the same name. Now let's create a field for pickup area. We should name it as pickup area. Should be a string. Then the pickup date should be a date then create a field for pickup time which is a select element so let's create a map for this okay now let's generate getters and setters
Now after this inside the book auto action method we will populate some hard coded stuff in these properties which will be picked up by the book auto.jsp for pre-populating the fields with some default values. create two packages one for four hours 40 kilometers and another for eight hours 80 kilometers for pickup area let's put a as default Pickup date, put as a current date as a default. time being let's give these two options for pickup time 4 pm and 5 pm we can populate with as many entries we want but for our testing purpose we'll keep these two then return success okay now let's test this out run it on the server okay I think one mistake I've done here I've missed out the namespace the book auto requires a namespace as booking so we need to provide this in the URL should be booking slash book auto and now let's build this and test it out and now click on this link we should be presented with a form with some default values already populated okay so here's the form and uh, here these default values I think some mistake I have done while populating ok now let's again build it Okay, so now we are getting the correct values which were populated by the action class. We will see the next page uh, of our web application in the next video. Thanks for watching.